In this video I'm going to be looking at my current setup uh, in preparation for my upcoming PC build. Um, there will be plenty of videos on that in the coming weeks. Um, so here is my laptop, this is the Latitude E6410 from Dell. Um, this is the 2010 model running Windows 7 Professional 32-bit um, with a Intel Core i5 processor, which I think is dual core. Um, but it might be quad core, I'm not sure. Probably dual core. Um, it doesn't have a graphics card, um, which is a pain and is one of the main reasons I'm upgrading. Um, so here you can see that it's a 15 inch screen, um, widescreen, which is fine for what I need. Um, it's got a trackpad, which has all the multi touch gestures which is good, and I use those quite a lot. Um, you can also see in the corner there the LEDs. So we've got one for Wi-Fi, um, one for battery power, one for whether it's plugged in on charging. Um, there's a Bluetooth, um, but I didn't choose that option at manufacture, so this one doesn't have Bluetooth. It's also a phone signal one and I believe that you can get an expansion card which allows you to receive phone signal on this laptop allowing you to use internet around the place and again I don't have that. Okay moving around to the left of the laptop we have um, a VGA port at the back there which is where I have my monitor plugged in um, we then have uh, a USB 2.0 and an eSATA port in the eSATA port I have my Western Digital My Passport hard drive you can see there and in the USB 2.0 I have my Canon um, MP550 printer, which is very good. And then you can also see there's an exhaust fan just there. So the way that the cooling works on this laptop is there's a fan on the bottom which sucks air in over the CPU and then it expels hot air just there, which is very hot when this uh, computers being pushed. Um, you can also see the speakers, there's one set down this side and another set down the other, um, which are a bit tinny but they're alright for laptop speakers. Down the front you can see that touchpad I was talking about, um, just here, um, it's quite small um, but it works fine. Then you can also see there's an SD card reader just down here. This is really handy. I think it's probably one of the best features of this laptop because um, it is a business laptop, it's not a sort of media laptop. So I wouldn't expect it to have one, and it does. And because both my cameras uh, use SD cards, I do use this a lot. And it can get speeds of up to about 23 megabytes a second, which isn't too bad, it's about a picture a second when I'm shooting in RAW. Um, you can also see, if I just pan around a bit, the stickers here, one for Windows 7 and one for Intel Core i5. Okay, onto the right hand side, and um, we have another two USB 2.0 ports. This laptop doesn't have any USB 3.0, another reason I'm upgrading. Um, yeah, because I use external hard drives a lot, because this only has an internal hard drive with a capacity of 230 gigabytes and I do a lot of uh, photos and they take up a lot of space so I use external hard drives and I want fast uh, transfer times. Um, so I've got two USB 2.0s there, uh, one is plugged into the dongle for this wireless mouse which is from Daffodil, um, I wouldn't recommend this mouse, I'm looking for a new one. And then the bottom one, the big white one, that is for my um, Microsoft Wireless 3000 keyboard, which is absolutely amazing. I've done a review on it, um, so check that out. I definitely recommend it. It's down here at the front. Uh, it's really nice. Um, so back over here, we also have um, headphone and microphone ports, uh, a wireless internet switch, and then the DVD reader and writer. As a DVD reader, 
this performs absolutely fine. Um, you can watch DVDs and whatever on it really well. Uh, as a writer, it's rubbish. Um, I was doing a video for a client um, earlier this year of some speeches which I'd filmed. Um, and it was an hour long video and they wanted an HD DVD of it. So I burned them one and I think it took about six hours burning it on this, but it could have been more, maybe about eight hours. And in that time the computer was completely unusable, um, which was a massive pain. Okay, onto the rest of my setup. Um, you see the laptop there, and then if I hand around here to the right, you can see my monitor. This is the 1908 WPF, a widescreen monitor from Dell. I bought this second hand on eBay for £30 about two years ago. Um, and I kind of wish I hadn't, um, because I'm not sure what the previous user has done, but um, it's scuffed up all over and um, they must have removed something from the internals uh, because none of the buttons on the front work and also um, my computer thinks that it's a 4 to 3 aspect ratio when it's actually 16 to 9 so it takes a 4 to 3 aspect ratio and just stretches it which is really rubbish for getting an accurate representation of what's on the screen um, you can also see my mouse down there in the foreground, uh, which I've already mentioned, and my speakers. Um, my setup currently, I have three different sets of speakers all um, paired up with a Belkin, I think it's Rockstar, the five way splitter, uh, which works really nicely. I've got those Sweeks, which are quite cheap, I think about £20, maybe 30 can't quite remember. And they're a 2.1, and I've got a 2.1 from Trust, and also just some old PC speakers, um, which I found at home. And that works nicely, uh, it sort of works in surround sound. And I think that just about sums it up. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please like, comment and subscribe. Also any suggestions for future videos, just leave them in the comment box below. Thanks.